Are we on, Taz? Yep, we're ready to go. All right. Hi, everyone. We'll just start in one more minute. Sorry, just in case there's any stragglers and then we'll I'll start the presentation. All righty then. Okay, thanks very much uh, everyone for joining us today. My name is Georgie Townsend and I'm one of the research managers at AgriFutures for the Chicken Meat Program. Uh, today we wanted to give you a bit of a overview of um, our recently um, released open call for a program of research on nutrition, gut health, and environment um, that's just gone out. So we haven't actually opened the call yet, we've just uh, uh, put out some communications to you via email and we have the website which I'm sure all of you have accessed because you've managed to find the login details for today's presentation. Last week we ran a quick overview of the program and today I'm going to quickly run through that again for all the new people who have joined us today and then we'll have a question and answer session and you are able to place your questions in the chat function on the right hand side of your screen. There will also be a quick one question poll at the end. Um, if you can just hang around to answer that, that'd be fantastic. Okay, so if you do have any questions about today, just save them up um, and we will answer them at the end. If we can't answer your questions today, we have a frequently asked questions section on the website that we will update with any further answers so that everyone has access to exactly the same information. Um, next slide, thanks Taz. So just to cover off, this is an industry-led research development and extension uh, program of research that we've put together. Um, the program of research was, has been designed by a technical working group made up of industry representatives and members of the Chicken Meat Advisory Panel. Once those terms of reference are put together, the, the final version that has gone up has been approved by the AgriFutures Chicken Meat Program Advisory Panel. So. The program is looking to make a significant investment in a program of research that holistically addresses nutrition, gut health and environment topics um, in one program of research. Next slide. So the research question that we have posed is what aspects of broiler and broiler breeder nutrition will optimise gut health and environment both in shed and external to deliver a sustainable chicken meat production system with enhanced animal welfare. Uh, so it's a nice, it's a nice big research question that we're looking for um, a consortium to answer. So um, next slide, thanks, Taz. So just to give some background on our program, if you haven't been um, involved recently, or for those who have and haven't had a, a good look through our strategy, um, we have a. a an RDNE strategy that was implemented um, towards the end of 2019 and it runs for three years uh, through to 2022. We have key, four key research objectives which are listed on the screen there. We've got a food safety objective, environment, um, a whole supply chain objective which covers a number of topics including nutrition, biosecurity, health and disease and welfare 
And we have the fourth um, objective there of considering the needs. So next slide, thanks Taz. Uh, so what we're after today is we're seeking um, um, consortia to come together to answer this research question. We are going to fund one consortium for this research question that we've posed. This um, program of research is just one element of our overall research program. So uh, we, we still are conducting research in other areas, but this is specifically targeting addressing these topics um, all together. So what we want uh, the consortia to bring us in their proposals is um, leveraging existing knowledge of broiler research, so in nutrition, diet composition and feed efficiency, uh, research on the impact of gut health and your interaction with in-shed and external environment. So we, there is a lot of existing research in these topics. We understand that. We want to build upon that uh, research and um, keep on aiming towards achieving the goal of the program, which I'll cover off a little bit later. So we want you as a group to, or as, as many consortia as come together, to talk among yourself, do the brokering yourself to pull together one consortium to put in an application, and that successful um, respondent will manage and lead the program of work. Uh, next slide, thanks, Taz. Okay. So uh, just back to our strategy, within our strategy, we have key focus areas under each of those four objectives. So in the left-hand column, you'll see on this slide that we've got um, the key focus areas that we'd like the, your proposal to address. So improve nutritional management and feed use efficiency, improve management of the internal shed environment, and reducing pathogens before and during processing. Now, the right-hand column contains some additional key focus areas that fall under those objectives, uh, one under welfare, uh, chicken health, environmental impacts, management of chicken production systems, and improved options to manage litter. So in your proposal, we are hoping that you will address as many of these um, key focus areas as you can, or preferably all of them, but the focus um, at least is to address one under each of those objectives and those are listed, listed in the left-hand column there. Uh, next slide, thanks, Taz. So the goal of this research program, so the, the program of research on nutrition, gut health and environment, is to um, develop a diet that allows birds to reach their full genetic potential, demonstrating improved health and welfare, reduces the reliance on inputs such as antibiotics and optimises the shed environment, including the maintenance of litter quality and reduction of odour while mitigating uh, the impact on the external environment. Uh, next slide, thanks, Taz. So uh, I've said it several times already, but I'll, I'll say it again. We're looking for um, a consortium to come together and we're hoping that you will bring um, multi-institutional teams that have complementary skills that can work together uh, we obviously encourage national and international collaboration to form that team so we have the best people in the room. We want the research to be impactful and um, adoptable by industry. So that's going to be a key focus that you're working with industry to make sure you're answering the questions that are relevant here and now to the industry. We, we are seeking full proposals. So um, if you've been through our proposal process before, we normally have a two-stage process. We're looking for full research proposals. So there is some work in pulling together in the background before you submit your proposal for assessment by the Chicken Meat Advisory Panel. Next slide, thanks, Taz. Okay, what is expected? So on, on the website where we've listed the terms of reference, we've uh, listed out the key uh, priorities and the key deliverables. Now these have been put together by the um, technical advisory group and then approved by the chicken meat advisory panel. So your program of research that you pull together has got to consider how you can address these um, deliverables and priorities and develop a program that systematically uh, works through addressing these. Your proposal might not include every single one, but we need to aim high and that's why we've put um, these down there for you as um, a reference of what we're trying to deliver under those key focus areas 
and ultimately under the objectives of our research strategy. <coughs> uh, next slide, thanks, Taz. Uh, so, big question is um, the budget. So, we put in a figure there of one point five million for per year for three years, and what we're asking you to do is to bring in matching uh, funds. So in-kind contributions and cash contributions will be looked upon favourably by the uh, panel. So um, it's a matter of uh, making those connections and seeing what you can um, bring to us. Uh, next slide, thanks, Taz. So the timeline. So as I said, this is the second question and answer uh, webinar we've had. Towards the end of November, we will be opening the proposal portal, um, and as soon as we have those questions available for you um, in terms of what the proposal needs to address, we will post them up on the Terms of Reference website. We're expecting to have the proposal portal open for approximately 12 weeks, and um, at the beginning of February, all proposals will be collated and ready um, get, and uh, tidied up to get ready to present to the Chicken Meat Advisory Panel for assessment. Uh, further announcements on the, the winning um, consortium will be will follow. Uh, next slide, thanks. So uh, just to reiterate, all information that you've heard today um, and any questions that are answered um, will be posted in the frequently asked questions um, part of the website. So please. Don't be concerned if you feel like you've missed a topic today. It um, it can be answered later on, and we um, endeavour to make sure that we answer them in that forum so that everyone has access to the same information. Um, that is the end of my short presentation. Um, I would just, if you do have any questions, if you can post them into the question chat function on the right hand side of your screen and we will see if we can answer any of those now but if you can pl place them in there um, either way we will um, address them on the website if we can't talk now. So I'll just give a minute or two to see if there's any questions that you have. Um, we have a question in, um, do you anticipate the successful proposal will be accepted as is or will you look to modify and improve? That's, um, that's a great question. Thanks very much, Rob. Um, we, the consortia that um, uh, brought forward, we would like to have a presentation given to the advisory panel so that they can um, ask any questions and ask you to answer any questions. Um, live so I should have actually included that in my presentation there will be a question and answer so that they can understand your approach um, so there potentially could be some uh, modifications or improvements um, but that will depend on what is brought forward uh, another question will there be any normal proposal calls from agri-futures in the next three years um, thanks very much for that question and I'm glad I get to allay any concerns in that area as I said, this is one program of research. There will be open calls for other subjects, um, even potentially towards the end of this year. Um, the intention is to run this separately so that it's clear that we are seeking uh, proposals in this area. So if there is another open call towards the end of this financial year, we'll be um, certain to let you know and it will be the normal process that you follow. So thanks very much for that question. Um, another question that's come in, in what form would you require cash and in-kind commitments? Will a letter from the committee organisation um, be sufficient? Um, 
That's a great question as well. And I will have to make sure that I answer that um, in line with our procurement policies. So um, if I can take that on notice and I will make sure that, that um, a full answer is provided in our frequently asked questions section of the website. There is a process, I just don't know off the top of my head and I do apologise for that. Uh, another question that's come in, will the budget include PG scholarships? Um, the budget, if you, if you put a team together with postgraduates, we'll um, just need to see, we'll just need to see the proposal if that's, if that's what you're including. Um, my suggestion is that the proposal comes together and you um, and you present um, present it to us for assessment and in what format you think is the most appropriate is is what you should submit. I'm sorry if I haven't answered that completely. Please feel free to send me through that question via email and I'd be happy to answer it um, more appropriately again. Um, now the question we have is, by match funding, do you mean one-to-one? -one? Um, match funding, uh, from the, when we do research, we can receive, we receive match funding from the government. So one-to-one uh, -one match funding is, um, if, if you were to bring in $400,000, then we, the program can match that um, and invest in research. So that's, that's what we mean by matched funding. Um, in terms of the, the 1.5 million that we're putting towards it, that's what the program um, is willing to put towards it, depending on um, the depth and breadth of the proposal that's um, sent in. Um, and the match funding would be extra um, cash contributions that would be put through the program and can be leveraged through that program of work. So if you bring in 400,000 and we got match funding, that would go towards this program as, of research as well. Uh, another question, how much details do you need in the full proposal? Um, in the full proposal, we are looking for the structure of the consortia, um, of the consortium, apologies, um, and what research you intend to carry out and a, a bit of a project plan, plan I would suspect. So um, it's meant to be a program of research, so it wouldn't be just one, we wouldn't expect it to be made up of one research project. We'd expect that there might be um, a, a series of uh, projects that form a small program of work. So we are looking for full detail on how you intend to run the program of research, not not necessarily the, the specific detail of each um, project at that level. Uh, thanks very much for that question. Uh, another question that's come in is, do you want the successful consortia to have experience in research management? Um, as we said, we would expect that the, the uh, I'm going to say winner, that doesn't sound right all of a sudden, um, the winner of the uh, program of research would be managing uh, the research, so they would, they would have to have some management experience. Um, in research management because you would be uh, presenting up, we would expect you to be, to be running it rather than us running the day-to-day -day, um, functions of it. Uh, another question that has come in, how will the successful consortium program be structured? Will there be sub-projects led by individual researchers? Thanks for that question and I think um, it was uh, sort of answered in um, a couple of questions ago that we are looking for a program of research and that there will be probably sub-projects within that that answer individual questions. Um, so in that way, I would say there would be sub-projects um, led by individual researchers, but you would be part of that consortium. It would not be separately contracted by us and fed into that program of research. You'd be part of that consortium. The next question I have, do you have a preferred guideline for the management and governance of the consortium? Um, at this stage, we would be looking to develop, um, if that's from an AgriFutures point of view, we, we want you to bring that, um, that consortium together for us and we will be paying the one lead organisation the, uh, the funds and the 
um, and how you'd be governing that would be a discussion that would be held once we see the proposal. So I'll have to take that on notice again. Got some tricky questions there, um, but I'd like to be able to form up a, a, an informative answer for you so I can provide you with the correct information. Uh, another question, uh, just to clarify, if we get $100,000 investment from industry, you'll match that over and above the $1.5 million. That's correct. So the program um, will be putting in up to $1.5 million per year. And if you bring in match funding, that comes through the program, which allows us, if you bring in, pardon me, cash contributions, we would bring them through the program, which allows us to match that money above the 1.5. Um, another question that's just come in is, what are the expectations for IP ownership? Um, we understand that this consortium will be bringing um, together existing IP or third party IP. Uh, in terms of how the IP will be managed, um, that is a discussion I'd like to have our legal team manager involved in um, and it will be it would have to be sorted out at the contracting phase to make sure that all parties are um, are willing to accept the conditions. Right, are there any more questions? I'll just give it another minute, maybe 30 seconds, see if any further questions come in. Please feel free to send any other questions via email. Our details are on the Terms of Reference website. Please confirm, sorry, one more question that's come in. Um, please confirm, Jin, funding is 1.5 million plus cash plus matched. So, Program of the Chicken Meat rd &E program is willing to put in up to 1.5 million, depending on the proposal and the complexity of the depth or breadth of the proposal. The panel is looking for consortia that will bring in matched fund, um, bring in cash contributions. If cash contributions are brought into the program, they will be matched through our program. I can provide a more uh, full answer on the frequently asked questions part of the website, if that's not clear. Okay, one more question that's come in is, is there any underlying subtext to the program for workforce development, i.e. post-grad, post-docs or interns? Um, I believe that we do have one, um, pardon me, I'm just going to scroll back on my other slides to the key deliverables. Uh, so one of the key deliverables that we have mentioned in there is um, embedded capacity building activities to support training and workforce development development for industry workforce and for chicken meat researchers. So in terms of, um, development we are looking for that for industry but in terms of um uh for postgrads that's not a direct um aim of this program so if it is if it is researchers or postgrads looking to enter into the industry we would um that is one of the deliverables we're hoping that could be um, part of this program of research. Uh, okay, um, another question that's just come in is, is there any thought that with success the timeline could be extended? That That's a great question and I love your positivity. Um, 
uh, in that question. And look, if this is uh, a successful program of research and the consortium is delivering uh, to the expectations of um, the chicken meat program's um, advisory panel, um, surely it could be extended, but that's probably a question we need to, to wait till we've got a successful consortium um, contracted. Um, uh, there's just been a question on the follow-up poll question that we've got there is, um, can we have one after we open the application portal? Yes, we are happy to hold as many webinars um, as required to make sure people are comfortable with the process. Uh, this is the first time the Chicken Meat Program has um, taken this approach, so we are happy to to hold as many Q&A um, webinars as uh, necessary to make sure that um, groups are comfortable with the process and that you understand everything before um, you put in an application. Um, as I said, with the, the portal is open for an extended period um, and we want you to make sure that you contact us with any questions so that we know that we're um, on the right track um, and you have the information you need to put in a successful um, application. I think this is a, a fantastic approach that the um, Chicken Meat Advisory Panel has wanted to take. So we're, we're really pleased with um, everyone who's turned up um, today as well. So thank you. And thanks for the positive comments um, in, the, in the chat function. Um, I've got, okay. Another question here, um, does the funding commence in July 2021 for the approved project? Are there chances of a delay beyond July 2021? That's a good question. Um, look, we need to, I'm sure contracting won't be just a matter of blindly signing anything in this, in this situation. So um, following the announcement of the successful um, consortium, there will be a contracting period and that, that will be a period of negotiation. So we, we can't really define that at this stage. We, we do like to um, contract as quickly as possible after awarding, but we are bound by the discussions that are had between the various um, legal teams if required. Um, another question that's come in is, are there any forums where consortia, potential researchers communicate with various proposals? If you are an individual and you are looking to be involved in a consortia, um, please reach out to us and we'll be able to provide um, your contact details to um, consortia. I would definitely encourage you to be reaching out to your networks and understanding what is out there at the moment um, to ensure that you can be involved if, if you feel that you would be part of um, Nutrition, Gut, Health and Environment um, program of research. So we don't have a formal um, a forum area for that, but um, that's a great question and we would be happy to facilitate those connections. Um, another question that's come in, and it's another hypothetical, which I love, um, is it possible that two consortia could be asked to work together to produce a final single consortium? We would really hope that you are having those discussions um, across your research um, network and understanding what is being put in. Um, I can't predict what the advisory panel will want to do in terms of um, bringing two different consortia together. Um, we're hoping that the proposal that's put in would um, be covering off to meet those key deliverables um, um, prior to to submitting their proposals. So I really do encourage those conversations to be had and to, to bring one together for us. Um, I hope that's answered that question. Another question that's come in, do you see any problem in a research group contributing to more than one consortium? Um, <laughs> that's a good question too. Um, these discussions should be had prior to putting in your proposal. If you, if, um, a research group has been in dis discussions with um, one lead group and another lead group. That's really up to you to decide um, uh, how you're going to do that. Um, we are only awarding one consortium, so if, if you're hedging your bets by um, being part of both, that might be a strategy that you can that you consider. But that, I'll leave that up to you. Um, 
Um, a, a really great question has just come in. How important is collaboration with industry chicken meat businesses? Look, we want, this is an industry-led um, program of research and we want you to deliver results that industry can adopt or use in their day-to-day -day business, ideally, of course. So we, we, we would love to see collaboration with industry for, in the end, the, the levy payers are, are made up of industry people. So the, we want the research to really answer those questions that industry are, are, want answered out there. So yes, it is important that you work with industry. I'll just give it another minute just to ensure that um, everyone's had a chance to answer, um, ask any questions now. And as I said, please feel free to send through those questions via email if you've thought of an Ask Curly one that I haven't answered today. I'd be happy to address that and place the answer in the Frequently Asked Questions part of the website. Thank you for all those who have already uh, responded to the poll. Um, if, if you can just let us know if you'd like us to run another forum, that would be really helpful. As I said, all we want to ensure that everyone has the same information. So, as I said, the questions will be up in the Frequently Asked Questions section, but I think it's good to be able to ask them live because it um, jogs other people's minds to ask even more questions. So information about a follow-up Q&A um, webinar will be sent out, um, we'll, we'll send a link out and we'll also just place it on the Terms of Reference website, so please check back. Um, the, we will send out um, a link as well, I will just send out a link to the Terms of Reference website and we'll include in there um, a link to the proposal uh, questions once we have access to them. We are just in the process of developing a new uh, program management system. So we're just, um, we've got a small delay to, to get those to you, otherwise I would have had them up already. We'll also be putting up um, a list of some of the historical projects just as a reference as to some of the research that's been done out there um, by our program. So you'll be able to find that on the Terms of Reference website as well. Uh, if we have no further questions, I'll bring this uh, webinar to a close. And thank you very much for your attendance today. I hope you found it useful. And please feel free to reach out um, at any time to both Annie and I. All right, thank you.